Welcome back to Total Drama Action. We're in the middle of some pretty wild action right now. Ah! Ah! Catering? Owen, Owen, he's our guy! If he can't do it, uh, he, he's not our guy! There's still time for DJ to step up and be the hero for the gaffers. Do it, DJ! Do it, DJ! How many times do I have to say no? <laughs> Exactly. Pardon? That was only the first part of the challenge. Did I neglect to mention that? It's time to make a movie. And what we've got here is the set for a tearjerker, starring an elderly lady considering her long life. Boring. I can't believe we don't have a trailer. We are so not going to be able to properly apply makeup without vanity lighting. This could spell disaster. Thanks, DJ. You'll be making a feature about a thug who tries to go straight but can't resist the lure of the street. Yeah, it's been done. Hey, what about lunch? We have been working for eight hours and you are legally obligated by union rules to give us a meal break. Oh yeah? Who here is in the union? Yeah. I thought so. I am hereby forming Local 1 of United Workers Against Chris. Who's with me, everybody? And now it's time to choose an actor to perform a scene. Chef, give the teams their scenes. All right, we need an old lady. Oh, please, let me do it. It's got to be me. I've got an old soul. I'm like 87 years old on the inside because I've been reincarnated like a whole bunch of times. Actually, I'm the reincarnation of my very own Granny Mavis. Hey there, laddie. You spilled a wee bit of haggis on your kilt. And I can tell you, oh, the locks are rising up to the claw. Okay, okay fine. fine. Big Lucky Parmigiano. A tough guy. What? You have got to play the gangster. Don't typecast me. I don't even know if I can act. You want Harold to do it? He's as tough as... Butter. Don't expect DJ to be a tough guy, that's for sure. How can you say that? Come on, this is a role you were born to play. You just have to be you. All right, set up the shop. Whoever can get Chef, Mr. X Army Corporal, to show any emotion, wins the challenge. Your makeup? Gorgeous! And now, I'm gonna make you really feel like an old lady. I feel like 80 years have already passed since they started to adjust the lighting. Don't move. Oh, don't worry. I can't. My legs are totally asleep. Could I get that last line again? My legs are asleep! Ah! One, I can't memorize this much. And two, these lines are way out of left field. Just say what's written and quit being such a prima donna. We all have a job to do. So you just stand there and look pretty, okay, pretty boy? Don't call me pretty. The last guy who called me pretty ended up looking a lot less pretty. Get it? <laughs> Friction between the crew and talent. I love it. It's like a real film set. You are not pretty, okay, Duncan? You're hot, okay? You look hot, sexy, stud-like. That's better. I can't believe they settled that so fast! Sometimes this business really stinks. There are seven colors on this tape roll thingy, but I don't know which one to use. And what kind of a shape would a mark be? Like an M for mark? Or... Uh, my legs are starting to tingle! I don't think I can hold much... longer! Ah! Uh, we have the lighting just right! Get back to first positions! Ugh, it's been decades! Can we just get the ball rolling on my eventual Best Actress nomination? No wonder we're taking so long. This place is a mess, guys, and you haven't... Oh, what? Oh, 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 I know you did this, Lashana! Help! I am gonna need a little help here, people! I'll help you down, my lady. Oh. 
Thank you. Anything for my lady. I've been working on my courting skills. Yep, I've mastered girl whispering. As annoying as hanging around Harold would be, he'll make an easy to persuade alliance member. And right now, my lady needs all the help she can get. And now, time for the final hair and makeup. This light is just appalling. How am I supposed to work without a proper trailer and lighting? <gasps> I mean, could you tilt that pretty chin up just a smidge? That's enough! What? My mama always told me I had a flair for applying her church makeup, so I figured... We've got to toughen you up, you big old marshmallow! I've got to admit, I see a bit of myself in DJ, but I had to develop the macho in myself without somebody like me helping. This is gonna be fun. Here's the deal. I'll help you man up and win this thing. You don't ask any stupid questions, and you split the prize with me. Like they say, it's an offer you can't refuse. I won't let you. Wow, you don't look like you. Hey, Lassie, that's on account of me being a master thespian. Just make sure you lose the Scottish burr. Okay, Granny Nick-Esco? That's... action! When I was a young schoolgirl in Poland... Frolicking through the fields with my pet goat in the summer sun, those were my happiest days. Did you check the envelopes before you labeled them? I thought you checked them. <laughs> now you listen, and you listen good. If your fighter doesn't go down in the first round, You'll be sleeping with the fishes! And, uh, that's tough to do because, you know, they have no eyelids and it's hard to sleep. Hey, I, I can flip my eyelids. Hey, anyone want to see me flip them? Okay, Granny Izzy's nuts, but at least she's committed. Duncan's gonna have a hard time beating that. I've lived a good, long life. I've loved, I've laughed, but what I miss most of all is my sweet little goat. Chopin. Oh, bah, bah. Bah, bah. Cut, cut. Okay, enough. Too much for Chef to take. Donkey clearly wins for best performance. The screaming gaffers win it. Hey, hey, oh, oh, I was robbed. Yeah, I'll see you in the morgue, Caprice. You're gonna teach me how to be a tough guy? <laughs> tough guys cry. And did you notice how your team just won? Who was the judge, DJ? Huh? Who? Duncan's performance made me realize some stuff. Like, I've loved, lost, but what I miss most is my sweet little goat Gwen. <laughs> you guys are just friends, right? Worry not. The guy has a secret photo of Courtney under his pillow. And really, he's no Trent. I'm sorry I called you a wannabe. Ah, whatever. All I know is, I don't want to be you right now. Because you're gonna dump me? No chance. More like because you have to go vote someone off. Eh, whatever. As long as you're still here, I'm good. It's your turn to cast your vote to determine who will stroll down the Walk of Shame. <gasps> Under your seats, you'll find voting devices. Just press the button of the person you want voted off. It's easy. So, cast your votes. Who will it be? Who will be cast off the set? And it looks like all the votes have been cast. Chef, 
Remember, if you get a Gilded Chris, you get to stay, because rather suitably, the Gilded Chris represents the luster of fame and immortal greatness. Aha. And Gilded Chris's go-to, Trent, Owen, and back. Mmm, oil-covered chocolate. And now, only three nominees left. And the loser is... Izzy! Time to go! I'm not going anywhere. That's not my name. Girl likes to be called Kaleidoscope. Can I get a pen over here? It says e-scope now, okay? And remember, you can never come back, ever! Take her to the limousine! This was just a dress rehearsal, my darling! <laughs> You'll see my star on the Rock of Fame! Mark my words! 